How's the cookie? You want to know? It's the Oreo Review Show. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oreo. Oreo who? Oreo Review Show. It's not very funny, but it is accurate, which I think is more important. You all know me. You know me as a guy who likes the Oreo. You know how I like the vanilla and the cream and the chocolate and the cookie. Some people, though, well, they're what you might call a chalk a hall ick I'm talking about your Kathy's ack, ack, ack. And for them, the chocolate in a traditional Oreo cookie just isn't enough. Let's talk about the chocolate in an Oreo cookie for a little bit. That's a sentence I normally save for my victims. I'm going to say something slightly controversial here, but in the original Oreos, you know, that chocolate flavor, it isn't actually that strong. If you eat just one half of an Oreo, you're fucking sick in the head. Why would you ever do that? But if you do it, you're going to notice it doesn't taste the way, for instance, a Hershey's bar does or a chocolate chip in a Chips Ahoy cookie does. It's really a much more muted, subtle chocolate flavor. It really just kind of tastes like cookie flavor, to me at least. Your taste buds may vary. And that chocolate flavor is enhanced and brought out a little bit more by the vanilla cream in the center of the Oreo cookie. Well, today we are looking at chocolate Oreos. It's the chocolate cream Oreo. It is exactly the same as a regular Oreo, but the cream in the center, well, it's chocolate. It's always made with real cocoa, so now it's always made with even more real cocoa. What do you think is the, going on over here? These are, these are chocolate shavings? They look like curtains. Now, once again, guys, I'm sorry to say we are looking at double stuff proportions. I don't know why they decided that if your Oreo has a different flavor from the traditional Oreo, it's got to have twice the amount of cream in it. I find it sickening, but I'm going to try to put my bias aside and analyze strictly the flavor of this chocolate cream as it associates itself with the flavor of the chocolate cookie and not let my double stuff hatred get the best of me. There's definitely a smell coming out of this bag, when I just ate one half of an Oreo cookie in my original Oreo review video, which is on YouTube now. I believe I noted that the smell and taste are very reminiscent of Teddy Grahams. It's definitely a Teddy Graham adjacent flavor. And when you cut out that cream and you're talking pure chocolate, that association I think is even more powerful. I will say though, if nothing else, the cream looks nice. It, it, it's well situated in there. The coloring is nice. It doesn't look too gross until you look closer and realize that it's got too much cream. There's too much of it. That's not the right amount. Oh, 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 lost a bit. Now, maybe it's because the latest Oreo flavors that I've been sampling include Love Oreos and Birthday Cake Oreos, but this chocolate cream Oreo was not bad. One thing that I will say right off the bat is you're going to need more milk with these cookies. This probably goes without saying, but because you don't have that cream to balance out the cookie, you don't have that contrast it makes you thirstier. It makes your mouth a little drier. You know, the chocolate's all rich and thick and chocolatey. Ack! Makes you crave that white liquid. Thanks, cows. And I'm honestly shocked by how little I'm being offended by those, again, double stuff proportions, which will hereby in the future to save time be referred to as DSP. 
The DSP is not so bad. I don't know. Let's let's break one of these open. That's a that's a clean break, baby. Maybe there's slightly less in this than a real double stuff. I mean, the it definitely is more than an original Oreo, and the box will tell you that it has the same number of calories as a regular double stuff Oreo, but it, it doesn't look quite as egregious to me. Maybe the original cream just has something about it where it's worse in larger proportions, but this, this doesn't make me quite want to cut my throat much more than I did before I started eating one. Could have been a fluke. Let's take another bite. I call this the second bite test. Patent pending. The chocolate cream is good. It really does have a nice flavor and texture to it. I'm, I don't understand what's happening. I mean, I thought that these might not be as horrible as others, but they're really actually good. Going back to the milk issue, as you can see, I started with a full glass. I drank about half of this glass after two cookies. Now, normally this is not the time or the place please let me say before I go into this, to discuss my Oreo milk method. That's for a future video, but I'll just tell you briefly that I'll generally use one glass of milk for a complete row of Oreos. Now, there are 12 Oreo cookies in a traditional Oreo row, whereas in the DSP packages, they have about 10 per row, but definitely they're gonna give you slightly more bagang for your baguck. Because just a couple of these bad boys, and I'm feeling not only satiated, but also I, I don't have enough milk to keep supporting them. That maybe is the biggest issue with these guys. Uh, maybe you like to just eat a cookie or two. I like to gorge myself until the hole inside of my heart is filled up for a minute. These I'll eat too quickly. I'll have a couple, I'll run out of milk, then I'll eat it more anyway, and then my mouth will be dry, and then I'll feel like the human garbage I am inside instead of being distracted temporarily by sugar. I'm trying to come up with what the chocolate cream tastes like. I mean, clearly this is not high quality chocolate we're talking about here. This is relatively cheap stuff. This ain't no fancy ass Godiva. Get that Godiva out of here. This is just good old fashioned Nabisco. Nabisco, of course, is African for ask your doctor about diabetes. I swear, though, it reminds me of another snack. And I can't quite put my finger on what it is, but it has kind of a familiar nostalgic taste to it that I don't mind too terribly. At Oreo, we heart cocoa. So we use real cocoa in every chocolatey Oreo cookie we make. They are chocolatey, man. You're gonna get your chocolate out of this one. Ah! Now listen, I'm not much of a chocolate freak. I normally go for the vanilla flavors, or I like a mix of the two because I think contrast is important, but I like a good old box of the Russell stoves. I like a classic Snick Snacks bar. I do a frosty chocolate up style every time. These are hitting the spot. Maybe the secret is that real cocoa. You notice they never say anything is real about the cream itself. It's got real sugar probably, or maybe not. I mean, it says sugar, so I gotta believe that, that it's, it's, it's sugar. You know who'd be into these? Willy Wonka. I bet Willy Wonka would be making all kinds of weird ass Oreos at his factory. And I bet they'd all suck. Rolled doll is a hack. Hack! You know who else loves chocolate? That, that one uh, Spongebob episode. Look, I don't know how they did it. I never would have seen this coming, but it turns out the chocolate cream Oreos are kind of the little underdog that could. And to reward them for their outstanding achievement here on the Oreo Review Show, I'm gonna be giving them a final score of one half Oreo with cream. 
I don't know what it is, but there's something about the chocolate cream flavor that they actually got very correct. Like I said, only caveat, you gotta have the milk to support them. But maybe that's a bonus for you because it means that you have these cookies for longer. They last longer. You don't need to eat as many to get your cookie fill. For me, I'm gonna eat as many as I possibly can either way and feel worse about it. I was afraid that these cookies would put the chalk in chocolate. I worried that they might put the ick in chocohol ick. I even had my fears that they might be a coke. Oh no. Turns out those fears weren't justified. Everybody's happy. Go home. Have fun. Ah! Please put your disgusting chocolatey fingers onto the keyboard and like and subscribe to my YouTube video content if you want more delicious Oreo cookie reviews in the future coming out of my mouth and going straight into your ears where your brain will digest them and make you feel better. You can also comment down below. Do you think that I'm now a huge sellout for actually saying that I like a different brand of Oreo? Are you a chocoholic like Kathy? Until the next maybe okay Oreo flavor, I don't know, anything could happen at this point, I'm gonna sign off with a respectful Nabisco. And following that, Oh, Oreo! How's the cookie? You wanna know? It's the Oreo Review Show.